Very funny. Very funny. <laughs> Alright, I'm making this video to show you a few curious interactions with Lambert in Kaer Morhen, which, for one reason or another, you may have missed. Also, as I'm recording this, they just delayed the next-gen enhanced Netflix edition of The Witcher 3 even further. However, we still have things to talk about in the normal edition of the game, so let's jump right into it. Actually, before we do, let me quickly plug my Witcher Details playlist. It has a ton of videos which you may find somewhat interesting, and uh, there's a link to it in the description. Well, come on! Okay, so Lambert. First, when you encounter the Harpies, Lambert will complement your fighting style. However, if you use your crossbow, he will say this. Nice shot. And then, if you use it a couple more times, he has another line about it, where I think he refers to the crossbow as Gabriel? Hunting's almost a diversion with that Gabriel. Gotta get me one. I'm not sure what that means. If any of you English-speaking people have any idea, please let us know down in the comments. It's an art. Learned it from this old master down in Zeracania. <sighs> yada yada. Save that tale for your next sorceress. And we're moving on to the point where Geralt quotes Triss. <laughs> Lambert, Lambert, what a prick. More specifically, the scene afterwards. You know how, before you enter the cave, you hear a child screaming? <coughs> hear that? Sounds like a kid. Well, there are two somewhat rare pieces of dialogue here, one for each case in which you change your mind. First off, if you agree with Lambert to ignore the sound... You're probably right. Let's go, straight to the cave. Finally, something reasonable. But then decide to check it anyway. Hey, thought we were going straight to the cave. Shh, shut up and follow my lead. And they call me grumpy. And then, if you decide to have a look... You know, Vesemir's right. You do poke the damn hive, almost always. Fine, let's go. But go inside the cave instead. Hmm. See, you changed your mind. Good call. Now, here we have something that many people have asked me to mention in the video, and I personally don't think it's that rare, but here it is. The scene where Lambert helps you climb up the rock. If you then jump back down, there is a brief and funny moment with him. Now, the reason why I don't think it's rare is because, at least on PC, the camera defaults to the opposite direction, aka back to the entrance. So, if you just move forward a little bit, you will most likely fall down. Damn it, Geralt, stop running around! Look like a piece of shit in an ice hole. Let's get up there and get this over with, alright? Ready? Oh! Now, inside the cave, there is a part that always felt a little disappointing to me. It's the fact that, despite Geralt telling Lambert not to use the Ard sign... Ard, maybe? Mm -hmm. And wake old spear tip? What? You afraid? No, I just think before I act. You can actually break all the rocks this way, and he will still not wake up. Just lost the element of surprise. Couldn't care less. I'm up for the challenge. Okay, next up, we have two dialogue options as soon as you exit the cave. Mm -hmm. What's interesting about them is that they are each a reference. This one is to the Killing Monsters trailer, don't know who you're trying to impress. Tough guy stuff's just not working on me. <laughs> Look who's talking. Vesemir told me about that job you did for those Nilf guardians in Velen. What? What are you doing? Killing monsters. <laughs> Good one. Just came out that way. What, what, what are you doing? Killing monsters. And the other one is to the, spoiler alert I guess, the ending of the Witcher books, where Geralt sort of dies. We ought to be careful, this is their turf. Couple of trolls got you soiling your knickers? Was bold and brash once, like you. Then I took a pitchfork in the gut. Peasant kid, not a troll. I almost died. Hard way to learn, but I did. Come on. Immediately afterwards, there are a few curious bits involving the troll encounter. This mountain, trolley mountain, troll mountain. 
First, you know how they start throwing rocks at you and you gotta run to the cave? Run for the cave! Well, if you actually decide to fight back, shoot them with your crossbow or throw a bomb at them, they will run away instead. And then, the dialogue in your following encounter will be quite different. It's worth mentioning that um, even if you do this, you can still deal with them peacefully. Fact is, you know as much about negotiating as they do about grammar. We're not here to hurt you. We don't want to touch your rocks. Just let us pass. Witches say hurt no, but before I draw it, so it hurt being out spot before throws two trolls. Troll throw first. Witches is hit them. Witches throws on trolls out. Trolls on witches throws out. Out here, out there. Um, um, we do go this. Use sharp back clubs leave here. Use pass. And speaking of that, here are a few details involving the deal with the trolls. First off, they each have a few lines. The guy who's guarding the swords Sharp back of here. The trolls smash. And a couple of others who first tell a joke This one, which is says two in one. Huh? Mm. So no no. So <laughs> and then they warn you against entering their cave. This circle, no! This trolley hole. Use no go in hole. Use no trolls. Now if you enter the cave anyway, you will be forced to fight them as soon as you exit without any weapons. Actually, there is a box inside which contains a sword, but it's a steel one, so it doesn't really help much. Show me what you got. And that can also happen if you take back your sword, which is stashed in this log, along with the rest of your weapons. And something I really like here is that the troll will not attack you if you pick any random weapon. But they will become aggressive if you pick up a silver sword. <laughs> now, a bit of a bug slash exploit here is that if you aggro the trolls, you can still run to the altar, light up all the flames and start the cutscene. In that case, the game will still behave as though you made a deal. Geralt and Lambert will walk up to the trolls once again, pick up their swords and so on. And if you decide to travel to Kaer Morin directly, you can skip the fight altogether. But back to the phylactery for a moment. Um, it's a wonderful scene. I suppose one thing you may have missed in this dialogue here is the part where you attempt to cut the emotional ending short and it is implied that Lambert probably killed his father. My life. For the life of that prick? I say fuck that kind of destiny. Know what? Let's get out of here. Don't like what you're hearing, huh? Witchers shouldn't talk like that. Know what else you won't like? After the trial of the medallion, I rode straight home to thank my daddy for everything. Wanna hear what I did to him? Lambert, please. Thought we were opening up, having an honest talk. But fine, let's continue pretending everything's just peachy. The road beckons, my good man. Our companions await. Which itself might actually be a bit of a reference to Yennefer. I believe it was quite strongly implied in the books that she also killed her father once she became a mage. He wasn't nice at all, by the way, but still. Another reference to this scene is actually during the wedding in Hearts of Stone. You can hear people talking about the Axie incident. A couple of road robbers stopped me. One pointed a crossbow at me, and the other started rummaging through my satchel. I made the man with the crossbow shoot his friend, then hang himself. Whoa, Master Witcher! 
What were the trickery back there, the fancy finger-twisting? I know. Seen that afore. Witcher told a lad to go hang himself, drew some flowers in the air with his hand, and the man lost his mind. Shani, what is it Geralt says in these situations? Damn it. <laughs> yes, that's it. Damn it. And then we move back to Kaer Morin, where Lambert can be found over here, and you can talk to him about two things. The one about Ciri, the first one, is a lot easier to miss because it's only available during this portion of the game. Nice to be together again, wouldn't you say? Mm-hmm. Just missing Ciri. Thanks for reminding me. I had to change the subject. Heard a sentimental sob making its way up from your gut. Any idea why she's returned? Shortest version, she's running from the wild hunt. Damn. Going gets tough and you need help, you can count on me. As soon as you start drinking, the only thing you can talk to him about is this. You haven't changed a lick. That disappointment I hear? Most grow gentler with age. Seems you're growing pricklier. Mom always said I was different. And speaking of the drinking section, there are a couple of funny exchanges here that could be missed. Um, the first one is his voice crack. This happens only after you've had sex with Yennefer and you tell him that you wish to play Gwent for pleasure. I'd prefer to play for pleasure. Can't get enough, can you? Whole castle heard you getting pleasured earlier. Got a one-track mind, Lambert. What are you, 12? His voice has started cracking. Haven't noticed? Very funny. Very funny. <laughs> All right, that's enough. Let's play. And the second is if you decide to cut the drinking short and go to bed early. All right, guys. Bedtime. Speak for yourself. Night's still young as I see it. <laughs> but we're not. And tomorrow's a big day. Fine. Drinking with my mirror image is just no fun. At least it wasn't last time. See? Even you can't stand yourself. Good night. Also, allow me to mention something which should have been in my previous video about Eskel, but I only stumbled upon it now when recording footage for this one. It turns out that if you lose the race and give him the spirit immediately, he will bring that up right after the romance scene with Yennefer. You know, before lifting the curse. Or we could have a drink. Geralt gave me a bottle of Mahakaman spirit. That'll hit the spot for me. Sounds a lot better than the beams. Wouldn't mind a shot myself, or two. Then, after the curse is lifted, there is a brief scene involving Lambert and Letho, which I suppose most people haven't seen because they usually have Roach in there as well. What's this horse son doing here? But if Letho is there and Roach isn't, here's what happens. Still got time to leave. I do, but I don't wanna. Think it over. I will. I do my best thinking alone. You should have said no. None of your business. Wrong! It is his, and mine. Rather not have you behind our backs during the battle. What is it now? Why did you even bring him? I'll keep an eye on Letho. And I promise to be a good boy. Oh, fuck off! Geralt, this is a problem. Don't dismiss it. I need Letho. Our opinions count too. I need anyone who can face the Riders of the Hunt in battle. Your likes and dislikes, they count for a lot less than that. You're making a mistake. And speaking of Lambert and people not being at Kaer Morin, there is another bit that is somewhat easy to miss in case Kira Metz isn't there and Lambert is still alive. I really like this scene because it shows that he's likely playing tough in front of Kira. Holding up all right. Am I holding up? What? My dick? This is shit, Geralt, and you know it. But when she's not there, he surrenders to his feelings and actually sounds like he's crying. How are you feeling? Please. Thanks for everything. Sure. What's eating you? Do you seriously not know? Get lost. I'm done with this idiotic conversation. 
and I suppose I will end this video on a bit of a mystery note because there is something which bothers me that I haven't been able to figure out. You know the Diary and Darkness quest? Why did he make this cheese out of? Necker milk? Need to be careful. Where Geralt says how he has to tell something to Vesemir and Lambert? My trial of the cheeses. Vesemir will get a kick out of this when I tell him. Not sure this can get any worse. Gotta share this discovery with Lambert. Foglets are immune to the smell of old cheese. <laughs> Time to end this. I could never find a way to talk to them about this. I don't know if this is something that the developers never implemented, or I'm missing the right point to talk to them, but for some reason no dialogue options ever appeared on my end to talk to Lambert or Vesemir about these things. And with that, I believe we're done. Tell me what you think of Lambert and everything I talked about. If you have anything to add to the discussion, don't hesitate to do so. And um, yeah, other than that, thank you very much for watching. Special thanks to my supporters and YouTube members. And until the next video, stay tuned and be good.